Here are 11 mistakes you might have made in breakwaters. First of all, at number 1, breakwaters is not your typical survival game where you load into the game and you immediately have to channel your inner bear grills, like for example a game like Green Hell. Instead, the first thing you have to do is to follow the tutorial given by the NPC quest giver on the island, do the quests first, and then you can get off the island and survive this new and dangerous world. Before we continue, this video is not meant to offend any of the day one players, but it's meant as an informational video for the newer ones discovering the game later. Now let me give you some more advice and tell you about mistakes many players have made so far. At number 2, where is redstone? I want to make a fire pit, but I need redstone, I cannot find it. Redstone cannot be mined or grinded for on tropical islands. So you might ask, how do we make a fire pit then? Well, simply put, you cannot make a fire pit. Not by the normal means of obtaining the resources anyway. There are enemy pirates on the tropical islands which will have a fire pit ready for you to use, if you can beat them of course. You can dismantle the fire pit as well using a demolish hammer and bring the redstone with you that way. Number 3. Alright, so now you have a fire pit which is awesome of course, but remember that in the real world, even Bear Grylls has to be careful with fire since it can be very dangerous. Fire in this game is dangerous as well. It can spread very easily when you make your fires way too big. If you add more fuel to the fire, the flames will become bigger. And in doing so, will most likely get yourself, your island and your home base burned to the ground if you're not careful. Number 4. Water goes down too quickly. Please reduce water needs. Well, I got the answer for you. Because you can make yourself a leaf hat which will reduce the hydration rate by 50%. This was already a feature in the beta version of the game, but a lot of players didn't seem to notice it when they bought the early access version. Number 5, inventory space was another big complaint from a lot of people, which mostly happened because they failed to use the builder's bench to look up the bags and storage options in the game. I have a 3 minute video explaining very well about all the bags and storage options. I'll put a link to that in the cards on the top right corner of the screen. You can simply build yourself a net bag in the builder's bench and more bags and crates later on in the game. Plus, after the very first tutorial, you will also get a small pouch which will give you 4 extra slots. Those 5 were the most asked questions and mistakes made so far. Let's move on to some other minor problems players had. For example, at number 6, I don't have a map or a shovel to dig for the relic. When you accept the mission the quest giver will give you, you will get a map you have to use and a shovel to dig for the relic. If you don't have the inventory space however, it will drop on the ground and the shovel and the map might might get lost. That more often than not was the reason that people didn't seem to have a map or a shovel to complete the questing with. So if that happened to you, simply drop some items from your inventory and go back where you accepted the quest and pick them up from the ground. Another one at number 7, how do I get the treasure? and the X marks the spot is stuck on the water. Most of the time you can simply get yourself a refined yellow crystal and push the water away while you dig for the relics. Number 8. I dug up the relic but I can't find it anywhere. The relic has a special slot in the inventory to prevent you from losing the item. Number 9. Health problems. I keep dying. This often happens when a player is ignoring the quest and goes into full survival mode as I mentioned in the beginning. If you are in need of health however, you can easily get yourself some health by creating a hammock. When sleeping on the hammock you will restore 5 health per second. Or you can decide to eat glowing mushrooms and glowing berries which can be harvested at night time. Number 10. I cannot leave the island or another question was how do I make a boat? When you follow the tutorial after collecting the relic, the quest giver will give you a flare blueprint. This flare can be used to call the trader and he will bring you to a different pine forest island for payment of course. And number 11, this is more of a funny one than anything, but many players found that instead of using the flare, they could just swim to the next island. I would not recommend it however because a shark will appear and attack one shot you. Alright so that's a number of the many mistakes and problems encountered by a lot of the players. I hope this video was helpful to you. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more tips and tricks. There will be a playlist of Breakwaters guide videos in the cards on the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.